With dripping drops of water, the water jug is filled. And if we each gave a dollar, a dollar could feed the world. One by one, we can change. Little by little, we can rearrange the world. We can change the world. I don't, I don't, I don't know if the rest of the world is, is aware of the plight of the Hawaiians and how hard it is to make a living. And, um, you know, Hawaiians are trying to just get a, a house and a place to live at, let, you know, let alone even thinking about a college education for their kids. They're just trying to keep a roof over their heads. Hardly anyone knows that. Like, people who live here don't even know that. Um, yeah, it's a really sad reality, though. You know, the news won't tell you, you know, that there's a bunch of starving homeless people over here because, you know, they don't want the tur tourists to, you know, get scared in any sense that their car might get ripped off or they got to deal with seeing a bunch of tents and homeless families on the side of the road. I think here in Hawaii it's hard because uh, it's so desirable and so beautiful. The value of the place has gone so high. You know, a lot of local Hawaiian people have to sell their lands to pay the property taxes, which is ridiculous. Like California, you pay taxes on what you bought your house for. So if you bought your house 20 years ago, that's what you pay your property taxes on. Over here, it goes up, which is ridiculous. You know, where's all the money? Our highways still suck. You know, the infrastructure here is, is, is not so good. Yeah, it's, it's not easy to live here. I see, I see a lot of people come to Hawaii thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm going to move to Hawaii and you know, everything's going to be all good when it's not. It, a lot of people come and they realize that there's no jobs. Rent is expensive. <laughs> to buy a house here is just ridiculous. I mean, the house I grew up in at Sunset right on the sand was 300 bucks a month and now it's 300 a night. And so uh, that's just an example, you know, like the reality is pretty brutal. I'll never probably be able to own a house here. I hope and pray, but we'll see, you know. <laughs> I, I always try and think of like what could be done differently so that could, we could turn it around for this place because um, a lot of the time the people suffer and, and that, I don't know, it's really sad to see and I mean we've all been there too, you know, growing up has never been easy for a lot of people here. You know, there's just not too many jobs, period, and the education isn't the greatest. I mean, it's getting better throughout the years, but, you know, 10, 15 years ago, the teachers weren't, you know, like, weren't even really about teaching, pretty much. They were just there to, more like babysitters, maybe, or something. And it's still really difficult to make money. You know, like, I just won the custom airstrike. 50 grand for the most innovative aerial maneuver of the year and before they called me to tell me that I won I came home from a trip with five dollars in my pocket not even nothing in my account saying like oh, I gotta try and get a job doing something because I have no money you know what I mean so it's like if I hadn't won that I'd be I'd, I wouldn't even be here right now